Would you know what to do if a 26-year-old woman came in to see you to tell you she's pregnant? However, she's also on an antidepressant and an antipsychotic medication. This is a conundrum that, that many GPs come across quite often. And I think what's really important is that we manage this initial presentation properly. Some people's instinct is to protect the pregnancy and to stop all medications that might potentially be harmful in pregnancy. However, what we know is that stopping the medication means that there is a 7 in 10 risk of that woman relapsing and becoming extremely unwell during her pregnancy and postnatally. The most important thing is that if somebody comes to see you in pregnancy who is on some sort of antidepressant or antipsychotic medication, that you don't stop it, but ensure that you get expert help. How you manage that will depend upon your level of confidence. For women who have bipolar disorder or a schizophrenic who have a history of severe mental health problems in pregnancy, they need to be referred to a psychiatrist, preferably part of a specialist perinatal psychiatry team, of which there are now a lot more around the country. For women who are suffering from mild or moderate depression, they can often be managed in primary care. The rule is, don't stop the medication initially if they come in on something, but have a chat to the woman about what would be best for her. Some women feel quite strongly that they want to come off their medication, and if that's the case, that's fine, but you need to have a discussion about the risks and benefits for her. The most commonly used antidepressants in pregnancy are the SSRIs, particularly fluoxetine and sertraline. And sertraline and fluoxetine are both safe in breastfeeding. So when you see a lady, it's worth considering her future plans for the pregnancy, particularly how she wishes to feed postnatally, because that may have a bearing on which antidepressant you choose. If she is already on one of those, she may well continue it. But if she's on a different antidepressant, you may well want to consider swapping to one of those safer ones if it's safe to do so. The take home message here is not to stop medication if a lady comes into you in this circumstance, but to make sure that you get expert help if you need it, and to ensure that she remains safe and well during her pregnancy. If you want to find out more about managing perinatal mental health problems, please do come along to our new women's health course for NB Medical, where we'll be talking about this and lots of other topics, and we'd be delighted to see you there.